Hey, what's up guys? There's your boy Max here again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about why there are no alpha males or why there's no such thing as alpha males in 2020. Now, before we can talk about why alpha males don't exist in 2020, we have to understand what the definition of an alpha male is before we can explain why they don't exist. I think we can all agree for the most part that the definition of an alpha male is somebody who's in shape, who is attractive, who has an easy time getting women and having sex. You see, despite all the amount of money that you can accumulate, despite how good and how fit you become, no matter how attractive you become and how many women you have sex with, you truly don't have power as a man in, in American society, in Western society in 2020. Because no matter how much wealth you accumulate, no matter how attractive you are to women, a woman's word is always going to be law in the United States and the Western world for that matter. A woman can falsely accuse you of rape. A woman can falsely say that you assaulted her and destroy your life. And a lot of times they don't need evidence to back up their claims. You see, we as men in society are always going to be seen as guilty until proven innocent. And even if we are proven innocent, our accusers face no backlash. Our accusers face no repercussions for their actions. Even if you are proven innocent, you're never going to live down the reputation of the guy who got accused of raping or assaulting a woman or harassing a woman. So even if you clean the slate even if you prove your innocence not only is the woman not going to face any backlash in the same manner that the man did when he got falsely accused but you're also never going to live that reputation of somebody who's a rapist or somebody who's a an assaulter or who harasses women you're never going to live that reputation down you're always going to be seen in a negative light and if you think to yourself for even a fraction of a second for a microsecond that oh if I become powerful if I become rich if I become this and that if I become attractive to women then no such thing can ever happen to me but that's blatantly false and I'll explain why you only have to turn on the news you only have to look at history to see that no matter how powerful you become, no matter how invincible you think you are, no matter how big of an alpha male you think you truly are, you're much less powerful than a woman will ever be in society. You have way less rights than a woman does. And I can prove this. How many times have we heard that a billionaire has been accused of sexual misconduct? How many times have we heard that a powerful man, whether he's the mayor, whether he's the president or vice president or a governor, has been accused of certain sexual misconduct. Countless times. How many times have we heard Chad, the football player, or Tyrone, the basketball player, who's the supposed alpha male in their local high school or college or professional sports team, get destroyed because a woman falsely accused them of rape. How many times have we heard of stories where men were falsely accused and spent years in jail and either A, it turned out that it was false and the woman lied and the woman faced no repercussions for lying about being raped by that specific man or B, they were never released from jail and their innocence was never proven. So when you gather all these facts together, you can truly see that there's no such thing as an alpha male because all men are equally as powerless in the eyes of the law. All men have no true power in society. You could be the head honcho of your city. You could be the, the corporate lawyer. You could be the, you know, the $400,000 a year salary surgeon in your town. You think you're the boss. You're six foot two. You, you got six pack abs. All the women want to have sex with you. But if a woman is petty enough, and if a woman has enough cause and enough 
sense of being wronged in any way, shape, or form, she can destroy your life in a second by falsely accusing you of misconduct, of saying you made her uncomfortable. You see, nobody is safe. Even a few years ago, Kobe Bryant got falsely accused of raping a 16-year-old woman. Just look at history. Donald Trump. Donald Trump had a pretty much a clean record, but the minute he decided to run for president, and the minute that he decided to run as a conservative and go against the status quo, all these different women started piling on these false accusations against President Trump. You see, the more powerful you are in society, or the more perceived power you have in society, the more of an easier target you become in the eyes of people that want to take things from you. Whether that's a woman, whether that's somebody who wants to rob you because they know you have money, whether it's somebody who is jealous or envious of your success, there's always going to be people who want to get back at you, who want to take things from you. So no matter if you are a beta male simp or a alpha male who is wealthy, handsome, and has tons of sex with women because he's in the top 20% of men, both these groups of men are equally as powerless in the eyes of the law in society when it comes to being accused. So this is why I think there's no such thing as alpha males in 2020. And let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And until next time, Max out.